The way we recruit, develop, retain, and promote sailors and Marines is absolutely critical to our success. We need a force that draws from the broadest possible talent pool, values health and fitness, attracts and retains innovative thinkers, provides flexible career paths, and prioritizes merit over tenure. I've announced several personnel initiatives over the past 18 months to address the changes in the workforce and improve the way we do business in each of these areas. Today, I'm really happy to be joined by our CNO and our MCPON to announce an initiative to modernize our enlisted rating system. This change will give our sailors increased opportunities within the Navy, such as a higher level of flexibility in training and detailing, and increase their opportunities when they transition out of the service. In June, we announced that we would develop a new approach to enlisted ratings to provide greater detailing flexibility, increased training and civilian credentialing opportunities, ultimately communicating Navy occupations more clearly to the American public. And so effective today, we will do away with rating titles and address each other by our rank, seaman, petty officer, chief, and so on. This is the first step in modernizing our system. Our new approach will be to track an alphanumeric Navy Occupational Specialty, or NOS code, much like the other services do now. Today, there are 12 career fields that group the 89 Navy enlisted ratings. Those career fields, in many cases, are outdated. Moving forward, we will redraw the lines between career fields so that they make more sense with two goals in mind. First, to regroup NOSs such that there is similarity between training and experience within the career field. No longer will you be limited to the opportunities within your rating. Jobs available to you will be better match your skills and talents. Second, to make sure these new career fields and NOSs translate directly into civilian skills, something that future employers after the Navy can understand. Even if you are not thinking about your post-Navy life, trust me, It'll come sooner than you think. We recognize this is a large cultural change, but we need to move out on this now to ensure we are best positioned for the future. Mick Pond is absolutely right. These changes are not gonna happen overnight and will take time before they take hold fleet wide. We want to move forward smartly and ensure we do this right. Rating exams are not going to change right away and there will be plenty of discussion as we move through this process. There's a great deal of work to be done, and we will roll out the changes in a logical, evolutionary manner over the next several years. Thank you, CNO. Thank you, McPon. In aligning the descriptions of the work our sailors do with their counterparts in the civilian world, we more closely reflect the nation we protect, while also making it easier for our sailors to obtain the credentials they'll need to be successful in the private sector. I'm convinced these changes are the right move to bring our Navy into the future, make our sailors more effective in their jobs and in their service.